Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, let's talk about a few things. If Bear can keep his mouth shut. There's a, another dog out here. Uh, he, he likes other dogs. He just likes to talk to them. Sometimes too much. But we're sitting at a park today. Same park we've been sitting at because it's close. Uh, so. And it's nice. I can fill, fill his water bottles up here for free. And uh, make sure he's got water anyway. So I got two issues. One is I have a nephew that has a 36 foot with four slides or a camper that he's going to let me use if I can get a place to put it. Um, there is none of that. BLM land or whatever y'all call it over on the west coast in central Iowa. You have to pay for it all. Um, and it's not cheap. Uh, I had my interview today, another one today anyway, with this janitorial company for a college. Hoping... I get that job. They're, they seemed like they were real interested and didn't say I was overqualified or anything. So that's a good thing. Which she knows I am. Um, and it pays 15 bucks an hour. Which I don't care anymore. You know, I don't care what it pays. I'm happy with that. You know, just because it's a job, you know what I mean? Well, so, I'd be buffing floors, which, okay. She told me that uh, the lady I was at an interview with said that one guy worked for a month and quit because she said it was too much, he said it was too much floor work. Hey, that's what you got hired for. <laughs> We just, it was like, well, we just cleaned them yesterday and we got to do them again today. Well, that's what you get paid for, right? That don't make any sense to me. You know, you come in every day, you do the same job. Okay. That just makes it better. Because and then you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, so, I don't, I don't understand why people do that. I know a lot of things is, you know, with the way my squirrel brain works is I get bored easy by doing the same thing over and over again, but I'm going to do my damnedest to keep my squirrel brain at bay and, uh, you know, keep doing what I got to do, you know what I mean? Does this... This living in the van stuff, working or not working, is, is driving me nuts. I think it's worse on your health if you're not working than if you are working. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I'm still fighting for my disability and stuff like that, but I can't wait, guys. I can't. I mean, it's been, what, two months? Well, it's been longer than that since I've worked. I think six months. Close to it. Um, I just couldn't do it, you know? But... I need to get my head right. Take care of Bear. And work like I need to. So what I'm asking is this, 
if anybody knows anybody here in central Iowa that has a piece of property I can put that camper on and live on it and if they want me to pay something I'll pay something when I start making money I'll put it that way right now I just can't and he's got a I got to have it moved from where it's at by next Friday. So, and I don't know how much campgrounds are. I've never slept in a camper before. Never rented a camper before. Never owned one. So, um, I never had to pay for a campsite. So, I don't know what that is. Now, if anybody would be willing to assist me on this, I would appreciate it. Um, you know, I don't ask for anything, but this time I'm going to have to. So if you guys want to help, everything's in the description of the channel. And, you know. Help as much as you can. I would appreciate it. Uh, any pointers or um, anything of that nature, let me know. Because like I said, I've never owned a camper or anything like that. So, um, I know it's sitting in Hartford, Iowa right now on a campsite. But... That's way too expensive for anybody to live there anyway. I think it's seven fifty a month or something like that. Plus I still don't have tags for the van yet. I'm still waiting on the um bond title to come in. So if uh yeah. So if, if anybody's got any suggestions or know anybody with property over here, let me know. Um, share the word. I would appreciate it. And like I said, you know, if you guys can help, it's in the description of the channel. Just hit that more button and you'll find it. Uh, me and Bear's going to pray about it. Well, I'm going to pray about it. Bear's going to whine about it, I think. But I need something for him a little bigger anyway, you know what I mean? Something where I can open the door up, put him on his lead or whatever, and just let him sit outside if he wants to sit outside. Um, if I get that job, it'll be in Boonville, Iowa, West Des Moines, in that area. And I don't know if there's a campsite over there or not. I know there's, you know, there's uh, one before you get there. And I don't know if it's a permanent one or if, or if you got a certain, you know, certain times you got to be out of there or whatever, you know. I like to find something that's permanent. That way we only have to move it once and then... Um, when I can afford a truck, then we'll, if we want to move, you know, to a small piece of property or something like that, we can after that. But I'd like to have somewhere where, you know, we, we can go fishing if we wanted to and uh, catch dinner that way, you know, instead of just living in a field with nothing around where you can go fishing um, but you know beggars can't be choosers and that's what I'm doing here I'm actually begging this time I don't beg for anything but this is the only opportunity I have to get into a camper for free and uh 
hopefully get this job to where I can get my life back on track. So if you guys can help, please let me know. Um, I do appreciate every one of you. You guys know this. So keep your faith. Always look up. God's always looking down. I love you guys. Bye.